munchies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not, I'm Alicia and I'm stoked you're here either way. Today I wanna show you how I actually eat throughout the week. So sometimes I think social media and YouTube can be a little deceiving. So many people come to this channel for recipes and I do love experimenting with and sharing recipes, but I don't actually eat this kind of food on a Tuesday. You know, I save recipes usually for weekends or maybe weeknights when I have a little bit more time. But the truth is I am so busy right now with work and school that I barely I have 10 to 15 minutes to prep dinner. So I wanted to show you three meals that I actually eat almost every single week, and they mostly require a single pot depending on whether or not I meal prep that week. This episode should probably be called Christian's weeknight meals, uh, because the truth is Christian usually makes these for me because he's so kind and sweet. Let's start with a tuna tomato pasta. It starts by cooking pasta in one pot, any kind of pasta you prefer. If I'm just cooking the meal for one night and not multiple, I will cook the servings I need for myself or Christian and me rather than the entire box of pasta. In another pot, I heat pasta sauce from a jar and add grated zucchini. This is one way I love to get veggies in without much Mm, disturbance. You won't even notice it. After a few minutes, I add a can of tuna. I use wild caught good stuff, A, because the nutrition in omega-3s, and B, because the good stuff, while more expensive for sure, it does not smell or taste fishy. So Christian actually doesn't like canned tuna at all, but he can eat this stuff. This is not sponsored, but I will link the brand that I like below. So that softens in the sauce as well, and then I can add in the cooked pasta along with some chopped cherry tomatoes tomatoes and a splash of cream. If I have fresh herbs like basil, I'll add them in now too at the end of the cooking process for flavor. And that's it, season to taste. I serve this one with mozzarella on top, but it is so easy. I mean, the protein is already cooked. I get in my veggies, protein and carbs in one easy balanced meal. Veggies aren't much work or even that noticeable. And I get a nice balanced flavor too. The tangy tomato with cream is a personal favorite. So I don't use recipes for any of these when I cook them on a weeknight, but I have written these out as recipes and link them below if you wanna try them out. But my point is you don't need a recipe. And in fact, not depending on recipes is part of how I keep recipes so fast during the week. It just requires a little bit of confidence in the kitchen. Okay, next up, a boxed mac and cheese kicked up a notch. <laughs> Not sponsored, but I love Bonza mac and cheese. It's a chickpea macaroni. I've shared this with you before. It tastes like the real deal to me with the real deal, of course, being craft. But instead of enriched flour, it's made with chickpeas and minimal ingredients. Nice. So I cook that according to the package. I actually go a minute or two less for chickpea pasta. In my opinion, it holds better together when it's a little extra al dente. The pasta gets drained and added back to the hot pan along with butter, milk, and that cheese packet that it comes with. That's all on the box. To make this whole meal, we add in chopped hot dog and spinach. Stirring it into the hot pasta wilts the spinach on its own. I will cover the pot for a few minutes to help with that wilting process. This is so good. I eat this almost every single week. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese that's got protein, carbs, and veggies in one meal. It's nutritionally satisfying, but it's also mentally and emotionally comforting. I feel good eating it. I feel good about eating it. It brings me joy and it fills me up in so many ways. <laughs> what food brings you comfort and joy? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, my final meal to share today is a salmon rice bowl. This one starts with cooking some instant rice or on weeks when I'll meal prep, I can use the meal prepped rice. Instant rice only takes five minutes so I can let that go. At the same time, I get the rest of the meal going without much extra effort. I cook some salmon burgers and oil over medium high heat on the side of one large pan. On the other side of the pan, I add some oil and onions to soften and then frozen cauliflower rice. These salmon patties take about five minutes on each side, which is a perfect amount of time to get the rest of the stuff cooked at the same same time in the same pan. When I flip the burgers, once they're soft enough, I use a wooden uh, spoon or utensil to mash them up and then integrate everything, including the instant rice, which is at this point done. I season it all with chopped pickles, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce seasoning to taste. So easy and delicious. 
This meal also gets in my veggies, protein, and carbs easily and deliciously. The pickles and barbecue sauce go really well with the salmon. I have pretty much found that using store-bought items like sauces and pre-cut or frozen vegetables combined with some fresh prep the same day that I know I can mentally handle along with my confidence in the kitchen, that's been my formula for success with making balanced meals during the week. All or nothing, it just doesn't work for me. You know, all the meals prepped uh, or cooking every single night, none of those extremes ever were sustainable. I have had to find my groove and I've done it by letting go of the rules that I thought I was supposed to have and what everybody else made it seem like was right or wrong. So this works for me today. Tomorrow I might need something new, but only I can decide and only I can know by tuning into myself. So I encourage you to do the same. If you want help finding kitchen confidence or help with meal prep, I have linked my relevant courses in the description below. They are open for enrollment and all of the recipes that I share today are also linked in the description. I hope you'll subscribe for more episodes and hit the bell. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.